Hey everybody, let's talk about something called Coulomb's Law. So this is um, a French physicist named Charles Augustin de Coulomb. Here's his picture right here. And his famous law is um, oftentimes quoted like this, which says the electrostatic force between charged objects is directly proportional to the product of their charge values and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. So imagine over here that we've got two charged objects. In this case, one of them is negatively charged, the other is positively charged. And those two charged objects would experience an attractive force between them. You can see these force arrows. Well, the, the uh, quantity of that force is going to be related to um, a couple of things. So first of all, we have over here the equation where Q1 is this charged object, Q2 is this charged object, and Q1 and Q2 is the value of those charges. Those charges would be measured in units of coulombs, okay? So Q1 and Q2 is the charges on objects one and two, okay? D is the distance between their centers. between the centers of the charges. And then K is um, a constant. It's called the proportionality constant. Um, and it's equal to this number, 9 times 10 to the 9th Newton meter squared per coulomb squared. So 9 times 10 to the 9th Newton meter squared per coulomb squared. OK, it's always the same number. So um, this relationship is what French physicist Charles Augustin de Coulomb discovered in 1784. We now call it Coulomb's Law. When the charged objects are in air, the force between them is stronger than water, for example. So Coulomb added this proportionality constant K, talking about this number, to factor in the type of charge environment. In air, the proportionality constant K is equal to 9 times 10 to the ninth. Now, I just want to point out one thing, which is that... Um, this equation looks very, very similar to another equation um, that uh, physicists also use for a different type of situation. And the equation is this. Um, this is an equation that we have previously studied. Some other force is equal to some other um, constant. We call it capital G. And instead of Q1 and Q2, we have M1 and M2. And then we have the distance between them squared. Okay, this force down here is an electric force, or you can call it the electrostatic force. This force here is the force of gravity. Okay, notice the two equations have the same form, right? You've got a constant in the front. You've got an interaction between two objects, either two charges or two masses. And then you have an inverse square relationship, meaning that it's proportional to inversely proportional to the distance between the objects squared. Okay, this one here is Newton's law of universal gravitation. Right, the the force of gravity between any two masses. This one down here is Coulomb's law of electrostatic force. Okay, they both take the same form because both of them are actually related to something bigger than an individual force. They're describing an entire force field. Uh, the one in the top is describing a gravitational field, and this one is describing an electric field. Okay, so Coulomb's law and Newton's law um, are describing the same type of thing. And so problem solving uh, with Coulomb's law is going to feel pretty similar to problem solving with Newton's law of universal gravitation, as you'll see in this first example. So example one, two balloons become attracted to each other when one of them is rubbed with hair. Um, so, you know, you can, you've probably done this before. Where you've taken a balloon and you've rubbed it against your hair and you've noticed that it sticks to your hair. Or you can maybe make it stick to the wall. So we've got two balloons, right? The charge on the rubbed balloon is negative 580 microcoulombs. That would be this one. While the charge on the unrubbed balloon is positive 2 microcoulombs. That's this one. So I'm going to call this Q1 
is negative 580 microcoulombs. Q2 is positive 2 microcoulombs. Calculate the electrostatic force between them when they are separated by a distance of 10 centimeters. So that's the center to center distance here. That's 10 centimeters. Okay, so let's see if we can calculate the force. We're going to start with Coulomb's law, which is that this electrostatic force is equal to K times Q1 times Q2 divided by the distance between them squared. K is always the same number, 9 times 10 to the 9 Newton meters squared per Coulomb squared. Remember, it's a constant, so it's always the same number. Q1 is negative 580. Um, now, it's microcoulombs, so I want to take the micro, right? This prefix here was micro, and I want to convert it to scientific notation. So micro is 10 to the minus 6. That's coulombs. And then the other charge is positive 2, also microcoulombs, so that's times 10 to the minus 6 coulombs. And then I'm going to divide by the distance between them squared, but I want that distance to be in meters. So I'm going to convert the 10 centimeters, which we had up here, to meters. So that will be 0 0.10 meters. Don't forget to square it. So if I punch in these numbers into a calculator, I will get negative 1044. But the question is, what are the units of measurement? So let's see if we can follow these units. So um, first of all, I've got uh, coulombs on top times coulombs on top divided by coulomb squared on the bottom. So those will cancel. And then I've got meters uh, squared on the, on the bottom canceling with meters squared there. And so I'm left with newtons, OK? Negative 1,044 newtons. By the way, the negative sign is not indicating direction. Um, usually in physics, we would say that negative means down or to the left, right? But this is actually describing um, a, an interaction between two charges, right? So you'll notice up here that the, the force is actually pointing in two directions at the same time. One force is to the right, one force is to the left. So here the negative sign only means that the force is in the attractive direction. Okay, it, so in this case it's left and right at the same time. So negative only is saying that they're going to attract. It's not necessarily saying up, down, left, or right. 